So, there's a video by, what is it, college, something college, called Be a Man, Get Married. Now, the problem is, a lot of women are not worth marrying. They have nothing to offer except baggage and demands. And marriage is a high risk, low reward endeavor. So, what happens is, if you, if you have something, you want people to do something, and you increase the risk, you increase the danger, you increase the penalties, and you reduce the rewards, then you will have fewer people who are willing to do it. That's what marriage. Ha that's what happens with marriage. So right now, the um, the penalties or the pot the dangers of marriage are high, and the rewards are low in many cases. So if you look at Schopenhauer. Okay, so here, here's some of the reason why marriage is not. First of all, a lot of the women who want to get married are not quality women. Or let's say their qualities that they have would not be beneficial to a man who marries them. A lot of them come into marriage with pre-existing baggage, i.e. children from other men, sexually transmitted diseases, and financial debts. Um, a lot of them, a lot of women, a lot of women um, want to have fun when they're young and get married when they're old. So or when they're older, so they get married when they're quote unquote over the hill. A lot of them want to get married when they're past their peak of physical attractiveness. So other guys had sex with them in high school and college when they had their, their body was fresh and young, but then when they're in their 30s or 40s, then they're ready to get married. Um, so. Uh, and and uh, a lot of these women, these older women who want to get married, and you can see them all over the internet on dating sites. Um, see them on you see them on dating sites, for example, talking about they they expect this. They have a laundry list of what they want. You this the man has to uh, have a car. He needs a house. He needs to make over one hundred thousand dollars a year. He needs to be six feet tall. He needs to be uh, God fearing, and he needs to blah blah blah. They have a whole list of demands that of what they want. Um, and th these are the, this is probably the same woman who had sex for free when she was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> for the for the amount of things that some of these older women are demanding, you could pay a prostitute for less. You could save money by paying a you could pay a 19, 18 year old prostitute, 19 year old prostitute, and spend less money than what these, some of these old women are demanding in terms of resources. And finding young women for marriage, especially in in um, rich western countries the if you wanted a young woman for marriage you'd probably have to go to a third poor third world country with a stack of money because the young women in in rich western countries just want to have fun or they focus on their education so they're a lot so they're not getting married so if you want to if you marry a woman you're get you're getting them after they're worn out after they're used up then you have divorce rape made easy. The laws facilitate divorce rape. So women can divorce rape men whenever they want. They could take all your money. If you have money, they could take it. Take money from you. You have to pay the cost of marriage. You have to pay alimony, financial support for the ex-wife. And you don't get any of the benefits of marriage. So basically, it's just like some of those some countries where divorce is illegal. Like the Philippines, divorce is illegal. Well, divorce is actually illegal in Western countries as well. Or if divorce is legal. Basically, let's put it like this: a woman could get out of her marriage responsibilities, but a man, but the man can't if he has more money than her, because he has to keep paying for her. So the man is basically still married to the woman, still paying for her, still doing his, still paying for her financially, but the woman doesn't have to do any wife stuff for him. Now I think marriage is great for society in general. If a lot of men were married, settled down, taking care of their families, it might stabilize society a bit. 
if men were if maybe men who are married maybe work harder maybe make more money they may be more productive pay more taxes because um so the reason that married men would make more money would be that married men um they have a wife asking for money all the time because a lot of women are very materialistic and they always want to keep get it they want to have all the material things that they see they want to buy that new purse the new shoes they want that house they want the big house they want the car they're always demanding stuff this is what i've seen in, in a lot of women always demanding very materialistic whereas men if men are single a single man in general um of course, some men are materialistic, but the average, I think a, a single man who maybe isn't really pursuing women will tend to probably likely, in many cases, spend money on necessities and end on his whichever, um, what do you call it, hobbies he has, whichever personal thing, whichever things he likes to do in his free time that he's interested in and he probably won't respond too much to advertisers the way women do so you could have an advertiser companies they could target a female demographic um, and market the, a new fashion market shoes clothing handbags houses this and that whatever um, market all these social status items and it works better. It seems to work better um, when it, um, to market towards women, because they always want they always want the newest uh, social status marker thing. Whereas if you got a single middle-aged man or a single older man, you can't really market to him as much. You can't really get him to buy new things, because an older man will be interested in whatever he's interested in. A older single man he'll do, he'll be interested in whatever he's interested in and he'll he'll just spend his money on that or he'll spend money on he'll buy the same brands he's always been buying for a long time that's that's and I'm, I'm generalizing here but that's generally what I've seen um, so you have a single man who likes fishing he spent he maybe spends it he just lives in a humble way spends his money on food and whatever he needs to spend on and then he'll take his disc discretionary income he spends on on um, his his fishing trips yeah you could have a man who likes motorcycles a single man who likes motorcycles he his discretionary income it mostly goes towards his motorcycle or his motorcycles another guy likes collecting vinyl records he spends most of his extra money on on vinyl records but if they don't now, if the if single men don't need to spend a whole lot of money, and they or they're just taking care of themselves, and they don't have a wife always asking for money. They don't have children that they need to support. They're just um, they don't need that much money, so they don't spend that much money, and um, they don't need to work as hard. That's what they they may decide. Hey, why should I bother? Why should they bother working extra overtime or whatever? They, they may just prefer to relax and spend their time on their hobbies, spend their time on their vo uh, vinyl record collection or their fishing or motorcycle or whatever they're into, whatever their, their hobby is, collecting Star Wars memorabilia or you know, whatever their little hobby is. Um, so that's probably why single men make less money. Single men probably make less money because they don't, have as much as much desire whereas the married guy has a wife always making constantly making demands because from I, what from what I heard I've heard um, men say or married men married some married men have complained that their wives are never happy they always want more they always keep asking for stuff so if they, they have this wife who's saying give me this give me buy me this I want that and they buy they buy whatever the, they buy the thing for the woman or they buy what the woman wants they get her the house and then she keeps bitching I oh this house is good I want a bigger house I want a different house I want I want another car I want I want I want a vacation I want a vacation 
So they, they just keep bitching, keep asking for more. So then the man is, um, he needs to go work harder because the bitch is taking all his money. And she just keeps spending all his money on whatever. Yeah, I'm going to go on the cruise. I'm going to risk Just keep, they just keep bitching and asking for more and more. So of course the men need to work harder. Whereas the single guy, he doesn't have to work hard because he doesn't need the money. Because he's only spending his money on his his record collection or his his um, Star Wars memorabilia or his motorcycles or whatever. He he doesn't he doesn't need to keep on making money. He's not gonna run out in anyway and, and just spend money recklessly the way a lot of women do. But that's probably why um, married men make more money. It's because their wives ask for more and keep pressuring them and they need more money because they have someone who just keeps eating sucking all their sucking their bank accounts dry sucking their money dry sucking their pockets dry so that's that, that would be why married men would make more money most likely and um so the thing is when pe people say things like oh married men make more money they're healthier those are indirect things okay so correlation is not necessarily causation so but I, I think they, they would need to come up with more direct benefits towards marriage they need to come up with more direct benefits like like say getting sex from an attractive woman but they can't do that because a lot of the attractive women a lot of young attractive women are not a lot of women are getting married after they're not no longer young and attractive so Okay, so here's a quote from Schopenhauer, Arthur Schopenhauer, the German philosopher, um, late 18th, early 19th century philosopher. He said, um, with young girls, nature seems to have had in, effect, in view what in the language of drama is called a striking effect as for a few years she dowers them with a wealth of beauty and is lavish in her gift of charm at the expense of all the rest of their lives so that during those years they may capture the fancy of some man to such a degree that he is hurried away into undertaking the honorable care of them as long as they live now see here's the thing you you see the eight the eight average age of marriage is rising so um the women who want to get married and are not like their wealth of beauty as schopenhauer says has been spent it's been spent a lot of times by the time they're looking to settle down you have women women who are like 40 50 still trying to get married and their their wealth of beauty is gone so men men are just not see if a man sees a very a young beautiful woman he may he may like become infatuated with her infatuated with her and not think and get or uh, not think about the risk of marrying her but then if she's not that attractive then it's gonna be hard for a man to be uh, seduced into wanting to marry her that's why a lot of men anyway marriage just isn't isn't beneficial you need to have a uh, you need to make the institution beneficial